Hello beautiful people, I'm Kira Pata and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, please subscribe if you enjoy the content that you're about to watch. So um, for today's video, uh, I thought we would talk a bit about how to stay motivated and prepare for online schooling uh, since most people uh, in the Northern Hemisphere are just about ending their school year whereas people in the Southern Hemisphere like myself are going into their second term and most of us do not have any experience or very little experience even if that with online schooling so um, staying in lockdown and being quarantined leaves very little space for us to feel motivated because we get to feel really restless staying in one place. I know for me, I've not gotten bored yet, but I've more so been restless being in one space and not um, doing something different every day, if I can say that, or having a change of scenery. Um, but we have to understand that with schooling, it's going to continue through this period of hard times um, and it will continue after it's done. So it's important that we try and stay uh, as focused as we can because at the end of the day, these marks are still going to um, contribute at the end of the year as well as contribute to us ending, uh, getting our degree or ending our degree at all previously about to say when I mumbled um, but yes I thought that for today I will look at around seven or eight ways on how to prepare for online schooling and how to stay motivated I will try and insert video uh, clips or pictures of how I've implemented this in my own life hopefully knowing how I can um, put in uh, it in sorry into the editing schedule So here are seven ways on how to stay motivated and prepare and sorry if I look down a little bit, I do have a notebook of just some ideas that I have jotted down. So for the first one is to have a schedule or a timetable. This is extremely important even in normal schooling as most of you would know. Um, just scheduling out what you have to do um, as a monthly planner or what you have due um, uh, in the next week, or even uh, how you are planning on separating uh, time slots for your subjects or your projects or your assignments. So my first tip with scheduling and a timetable is to have a planner. Um, it does not have to be expensive at all. I personally have a 25 Rand PNA um, planner which I have bought actually at the beginning of the year because I tend to in general just be a very organized person and so scheduling and timetabling will save your life. For your timetable I'm sure there's many word documents and templates that you can use but for myself I have just drawn up one with the plain old uh, printing paper page and a black pen. The second thing for your scheduling is to have color codes. This just makes it more motivating to look at if you are a visual learner like myself, as well as it just helps to kind of um, create blocks of where each thing um, goes, what is due. And so if you don't necessarily, sorry, remember when something is due, um, you can at least remember where about it was situated on your timetable or your planner as well as what color it was just to have a rough idea of when something is due um, and your subconscious mind probably will remember it better i'm sure there's a lot of scientific uh evidence to that but that's just what i've um noticed for myself um the second thing is to have weekly to-do lists i know it sounds excessive to have a planner a timetable and to-do lists 
um, but what I have seen is that I tend to get very overwhelmed when I have three or four more things um, uh, due in one week so I make to-do lists for the whole week which includes saying I need to do my lectures or I need to get up to date with notes um, I have a test that week just to have another place um, so you can see it on a smaller scale of what is you sorry there is an eyelash on my face <laughs> um but yes uh having a weekly to-do list um just saying what courses you have as well as uh what is due for each one what you'd like to achieve for each one and to take it a step further because i am an organized freak i sometimes have um a little sticky note of what i want to complete in a day that doesn't have to necessarily only be your school stuff for me it's also of what i want to uh, do for my dance class uh, which is still taking place online as well as um now that i have youtube of what to do um and when so like what do i want to plan for what do i want to edit it for how i want to edit it when i want to edit it etc etc so those two um tips number one and two are very important in this regard um number three is to have frequently uh, frequent <laughs> not frequently frequent um breaks by this i do not mean taking advantage uh after every little accomplishment you do like every five minutes taking a break which is for half an hour and then going back for another five minutes taking up an hour break or something um I think the best time, uh, according to how my university schedule is laid out, as well as uh, what I've heard from a lot of study um, blogs or um, articles, which I know I'm such a nerd, but I do read them because I'm always trying to um, learn a lot about how to make myself feel better when I am stressed with work or how to better deal with my time. And so um, 45 minutes is actually um the optimal time for you to one absorb what is going on as well as stop before you end up just staring at a blank screen or a blank page and not actually absorbing everything so after every 45 minutes take um 10 to 15 minute break where you go uh either get something to drink something to nibble on maybe do some reading maybe watch a youtube video just something to um help your mind recuperate and thereafter start a next 45 minute lessons other breaks include like your lunch break is really important as if it's a normal school day um it'll just help with your productivity and uh routine um so number four is to sit at a designated cleaned desk um or even just any space even if that's outside or you uh, enjoy studying on a ground, just somewhere that is neat uh, and well lit. Those are the two things that I have. As you can see, I usually use my desk, which is usually cleaner than that. Um, but yes, I use that because uh, one, I have white walls, so it reflects the light pretty nicely um, during the day. Uh, how light just helps you to stay a bit more awake uh, compared to a dull room. And for the cleanliness part, uh, my grandfather has always said a, a cluttered space leads to a cluttered mind. And I have observed that myself and I truly, truly believe every word he said. So I try to keep both my desk and my room quite clean since I am here most of my time uh, doing my work. Uh, and it helps also to not feel overwhelmed because if your room is cluttered, you are thinking subconsciously oh my god my room is so untidy this should be in this place and i have so many assignments to do and it just can get overwhelming so having a well-lit clean designated area to study in can uh, help focus as well as create a routine and put you in that mind frame that you are um doing schoolwork. i mean it's like your own classroom if i can put it like that i'm not sure uh but yes that is my fourth tip on to my fifth tip is something that I think is extremely important when you are in lockdown is to have free time. Now free time is equally important when you are, uh, for instance, having an exam a week or schedule. It's important to take time for yourself. And for me, I have decided with my schedule, I think you may have seen in a previous clip that I've entered, 
is that um, I have stuck to my university um, timetable whereby I start at 8 and I finish at 5. Finishing at 5 I think is a pretty good time because in between my free lessons which are usually at university I've taken up that time to rather complete assignments, get up to, do uh, up to date sorry, with um, my notes etc. And so this will help me to at least be done by latest 5, half past 5. And this leads me on to my sixth point, which is to, at the end of your day, do something that is a hobby and not necessarily school related. This can be um, dancing, it can be editing your YouTube video, it can be uh, doing art. Um, and most importantly, it can be for family time. This time is very hard on everyone and I think having this time to spend with your family as compared to when we are usually extremely busy with work or with um, schoolwork, um, it's better to take this time now and spend it with your family, whether that's um, watching a program together or um, eating dinner or doing both together, just something with your family at the end of uh, your day, just to stick together, ask and check how each other are doing uh, and give each other that support and that human touch if I can put it fine like that um, but yes family time I think is a really uh, good thing to incorporate at the end of your day and as well as in your free time and for my final tip my seventh tip is uh, something that you should actually be doing throughout your school year or part of your daily routine and that is to exercise and eat healthy food now trust me, I am no gym junkie whatsoever. The closest that I get to is probably dancing. I'm not one to say, oh, I'm going to do yoga in the morning or I'm going to do, I don't know, a workout. Um, but I think staying healthy during this time uh, is just extremely good for your mental health um, as well as your physical health because you are sitting around most of the day, uh, I'm assuming because you're watching TV or because you're at a desk, it's easy for your muscles to get quite uh, tense and um, not be as flexible as it was previously before uh, quarantine had started. So it's extremely important in that regard to exercise. It doesn't have to be anything big. It can be even playing with your dog for half an hour. Oh, I don't know if I said it already, but my dog Cody is lying down. Here's a mix between a Jack Russell and a Chihuahua. Um, but yes, um, that I think is most important. And with healthiness, I know it's easy to eat when you're bored or when you're watching TV because you have nothing else to do and you just feel like you want to do something. But uh, And I know a lot of us as well are trying to uh, like get a new skill which can be baking but it's important to keep up to date with your healthy foods whether that be um, uh, fruits vegetables eating nuts um, and also having regular meals you don't want to be um, uh, missing out your meals or overeating rather stick to a schedule just to help your uh, your body stay physically uh, healthy during this time two thousand years later i hope that uh these tips really do help you i'm so sorry that this video is long i did not plan for it to be this long but i hope in some way they do help you um just uh have something to help you with the school year finishing it off or starting your second block and help you stay motivated uh please like share and subscribe and even leave a comment below on what I can uh, work on, what uh, you would like to see, because at the end of the day, I'm making these videos for you guys to watch, and I don't want to waste uh, your time in watching something that you don't want to do. Uh, good luck for the end of your year or the beginning of term two, and remember that I believe in you. Uh, have a fantastic week ahead full with lots of love, happiness, light, and positivity. See you guys next week. Love you guys. Bye.